Last week, I talked about Marvel and potentially DC Comics' plans to add some diversity to their cinematic universes. But what about female characters? While Blade and Hancock featured black male superheroes, female superheroes of any color have not found much luck at the box office. Mila Jovovich and Kate Beckinsale have had the most success with Resident Evil and Underworld, and while Angelina Jolie's Lara Croft might have made her a star, the two films still reek of missed opportunities. Women have always been a big part of the X-Men, but the movies were still a Wolverine's show. Meanwhile, Elektra, Aeon Flux, and even Supergirl were all box office flops. No wonder Marvel and DC Comics are reluctant to put out a female superhero movie, and The Avengers only has one female member, despite having several in the comic. And Scarlett Johansson kicked Major Butt in The Avengers, yet her lobbying for a Black Widow movie continues to fall on deaf ears over at Marvel Studios. But it looks like on the other side of the comic book universe, Warner Brothers and DC Comics are finally moving ahead with a Wonder Woman movie. Well, sort of. For some reason, they've hired Green Lantern scripter Michael Goldenberg, a move that defies logic to such a degree I had to read it over twice and triple check it. Ironically, Warner Brothers had hired Joss Whedon to write and direct a Wonder Woman movie a few years ago, only to part ways over creative differences. Worked out for Joss, not so much for Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers had also tried to launch Wonder Woman as a TV show, where the focus became whether or not she should wear pants. Adrienne Palicki was cast, and while she looked likable in the role, she didn't exactly look like she could kick Henry Cavill and Christian Bale's ass, or I guess whoever they get to replace Christian Bale in the reboot. Since Wonder Woman needs to have such a commanding presence, I say Warner Brothers skips the unknown route this time and goes for a proven action commodity, like Jovovich Beckinsale or even Jolie. If she'll play Maleficent, she'll play Wonder Woman. In fact, Jolie had lobbied for Laurel of Catwoman, but no one wasn't interested. As for Marvel, they've also been demoting their female superheroes to the small screen with Alias and Mockingbird shows in development. ABC has already passed on the former. And if they aren't willing to give Black Widow her own movie, at least add some more women to the team. The Wasp and Carol Danvers are the obvious and best choices, while at this point I feel She-Hulk would be redundant. What do you think? Do you want to see more female superheroes on the big screen, and can they anchor their own movies? Does the box office track record reflect the truth, or merely poor choices on Hollywood's part? Write your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now. I'm Grace Randolph from Beyond the Trailer, and we're kicking off our San Diego Comic-Con coverage in style. That's a good question. Well, that's a great question. Uh, that's a good question. Yeah. That's an awesome question. I've never even thought about that myself.